Hello guys, how is it going? It's Fake Hero coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video and it's like kind of hot in Australia right now. I got the Tank Top Tuesday stream happened today and we played some Ken and Ari and uh, I mean people were sharing it in my Discord, they were sharing it in the deck share. If you're on the Discord feel free to join, links are down below. Anyway, kind of really wanted to try Ken and Ari today and I've got a couple of lists I want to show you quickly. First I want to talk about this Ionia, Sharima, Kananari with Absolva. These are the, this is like the deck I was mostly wanting to try today because it had Rock Bear Shepard. I thought that was pretty cool. Some of the stuff you could do with it. Um, felt okay. Felt like uh, Shepard was more of a niche card. In hindsight, I'd be probably cutting this down to at least a one copy of. Also, Black Flame didn't really feel as good here as it did in the other list. Uh, specifically because like we were more reliant on this like Absolva for our win condition and just felt a little bit more slow. Uh, wasn't finding Black Flame feeling as good in this list. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was an experience thing, but it was almost like also feedback from some of the other players that I think Black Flame was more of a one-off in this list. I'll share this deck code down below, unchanged. Um, felt all right. I think I practiced a little bit too much on this list before. Someone shared the kind of traditional Go Hard version we had a few months ago, or mostly maybe a few expansions ago at this point. Um, this is where I felt like I was picking up wins pretty consistently. I think it had a lot to do with Sinan. I think Sinan was like pretty much a powerhouse in this deck. And just felt a little, little less bricky. And I'm not really too sure why. Maybe it's because we have Quiet Us. And um, just, I don't know why. Anyway, I felt like I was playing this deck better. And we versed a bar deck, which was like actually made for a really good game. That's going to be the game I shared here today. And I think um, it really showcased the deck's potential. So um, check it out. If you have any other questions or are interested in a deck guide for this, I might consider it. I think it's still a bit more of an off-meta deck. Um, I might play it a bit more and see how I feel. But yeah, let me know if you have any other comments or questions. Sorry about anything. Leave them down below. Um, if I have the time, I will respond if I think if it makes sense to respond. If not, enjoy the game here today and leave a like if this video was at all helpful or you enjoyed it. See ya. What's up, boys? With my spirit, not my fist. I subbed, but let me pop it up on stream. Oh well, it's the thought that counts. Surprised to see you guys here. Obviously here for the sick content. Sick lore gameplay. Alright. <laughs> Might be down this week, boys. Oh hey! Wait, that's good. That's a good thing, right? I might have gone for the Mourn there, hey. Why not make the Mourn zero attack so it just can't strike the Nexus? Whatever, it's fine. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Unlimited Mourns? Yeah, that's that's the rough plant here. Rough, rough plan. I guess he wants to make my Quiet Us unplayable. That's fine. Could have hit the Goblo Seedling. Sure. Maybe I'll do a five minute quiet us this turn. Haven't got much else going on. <laughs> That's the one expensive one mana card, dude. As I said, I haven't really got much going on, so like something happens here, it's like whatever. Mm. 
nature does not mourn, I will. Okay, let's rummage out of the way. Do I recall this? It's not making that much sense to me to even worry about that. The elusive's the key here, right? What? I got a notification noise, but I don't know what happened. Thank you for whatever that was. Still no go hard. I don't know if we really need go hard. At least in this matchup. I think the only matchup where it's big dono from McNasty. Why can't I see it? It popped up on the screen though, yeah? Let me take my Streamlabs. It might be there actually. What the fuck? Holy shit, big money! Oi, thanks for, thanks for the cash, McNasty. Appreciate that. I guess, I guess I can't see in the chat, but I saw it pop up. Dude, that's big money. That's big money. That's all right. McNasty can afford it. It's a hundred dollars. It is a hundred dollars. It's not the tax. It's uh, that's USD. So that's big cash. What the fuck? Merry Christmas. Thanks, Vic Nasty. I'm going to put that towards my child. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. What is a big, big Ari energy? I'll see all this world has to offer. Yeah, that's big. Holy shit, that's aggressive. Maybe that's like the only form of like real removal. That was never going to work out for them. Definitely might be having hand space issues. Maybe I put sign in second. Sign in goes second, so I can at least increase my chances of flipping Ari. This attacking order might not be correct. Light stage amp. All right, let's jam. 
But like, it's okay. Seraphine's flipped. Seraphine do be doing the things. Recall anything flips Ari, I'm aware of that. I'm wondering Can you hear your heartbeat? I can. Bounce bar. More pice would give me a more pice would uh bar keep. If I if I recalled if I bounce their back alley bar or bar keep, if Morpice was here, he would not be happy. He'd say recall literally anything but the cards that generate value. I just fucking burnt a card. I needed to put these on the stack as well, but I ran out of time. Probably a dead. Don't know what they're up against. Dead Ari. Okay. Do I bother trying to save this Ari? Negative. Weirdly enough, if they put anything on the stack here, there actually is a way I can save Ari. Like, that would make more sense than just straight playing Homecoming here. Uh, return Eye of the Dragon. I can like Homecoming, maybe Seraphine. But oh well, that's a weird line. I'm not too sure what I'm holding onto this Homecoming for though. I'm just killing Ezreal, so that's pretty good. As long as I kill one of these threats, I'm okay. It's usually when Seraphine and Ezreal are both on the field at once, things become big issue. No way. Okay. I live for those who do not. This is it's always gonna be zero mana. I'm not down on blockers. Got the eye obviously proccing. Drew another Ari, okay. Drum solo, at least it's not two mana. Oh, they're about to have 10 cards in hand. I know, right, Tikon? I'm sweating. Hmm. 
night protects the huntress. <laughs> Come on, let's hit it. Amps live, let's go. Your lesson begins. What's another arrow? I think I know the line. To be honest. So, you have chosen your path. I think I'm sending Seraphine back into the hand this turn. Like, if I just put Seraphine back into the hand there. Nice, we get some value. We actually probably just have enough protection tools or enough ways to find lethal. Like, imagine if Seraphine's on the field when they play this. I mean, everything's still reduced in cost, so... They might figure out something. I think I need to go mourned in front of the eye here. This, these two needed to swap, I think, at least, at minimum. That's still lethal, right? Nice, we did it. Run. Too slow. Oh. Bean 